Hey, so this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max review. And the main question here is, is it worth upgrading from your 12 Pro Max? Well, let's find out together. So Apple made a few changes this year and those changes involve A, the battery, B, the color, and C, those cameras that can now take in 20% more light. Now, because there are a ton of other reviews for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I'm a little late, I'm not going to go in depth on specs and everything like that, because like I said, there are already a tons of videos out there that you can go ahead and watch. But, so we're just going to keep it really simple. Now, the biggest change is that battery life. This is now wholeheartedly a two day phone. This is a phone I can leave the house with comfortably and not have to worry about killing it at all usually at the end of my days i get home at about 60 percent 50 percent which is amazing no other phone that i've ever had is able to get to the end of my day with that much battery life left and it's amazing i'd rather a phone that's thicker with a bigger battery than a phone that's super thin everything else remains pretty much the exact same as far as design besides a few button placement changes now on the front is where all the changes happen on the front, there is a 6.7 inch OLED LTPO display that now refreshes at 120 Hertz. This is amazing. It's so smooth. Everything looks so great. Everything loads so fast. It's great. If you haven't witnessed it yet, I would highly recommend that you go into a store and play around with it. Now, it's not all about the display. Apple's optimizations to iOS 15 and that A15 Bionic chip that they threw in the phone helped the phone just eat through everything. It is nothing but butter. And that's not all. So now we're going to jump into the cameras. This year, Apple gave us a 3X telephoto lens, a ultra wide and a wide angle lens on top of photographic styles, night mode, and a lot of cool things that you can do in the camera app. On the video side of things, you have Apple Pro Wall, where you can shoot at 4K 30, 4K 60, 4K 24, and etc. etc. Overall, the cameras are a really good package. And if you're looking for a phone that you can just take on the go and replace with a DSLR, if you don't want to necessarily carry your big camera around, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is going to be a great option for you. And I fully recommend it, as a lot of times I don't carry my DSLR because I have this phone with me. Now, it's not a DSLR replacement, don't get me wrong, but the images that you can pull out of the 13 Pro Max look amazing. So you might be wondering, oh, wow, he said nothing but great things about this phone. Is there anything wrong with it? Well, there's a few little things, and mainly they're on the software side. My iPhone 13 Pro Max freezes from time to time when I won't, it just won't move around. Nothing happens. It just sits there and freezes and I have to wait for it to unfreeze. I've had a few touch response issues, um, but I know these are all software issues. So this is why I'm not really making a big deal about any of it, because I do know Apple is working on iOS 15.4 and nine times out of 10, those bugs will be ironed out. So I'm not going to say the phone is bad just based off of that. But 110%, I highly recommend this iPhone 13 Pro Max to anybody that's looking to upgrade. Now, is it worth upgrading from your iPhone 12 Pro Max? Quite frankly, unless you need that 120 hertz display, I'm going to tell you not really. The phones are too similar in design. The cameras are still amazing on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The videos are still amazing on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I just don't really see a massive reason for you to go rush in and upgrade unless you just really want that new Sierra blue color, which is shown here, or, you know, you just want that 120 hertz display. But other than that, if you're coming from anything older than an iPhone 12, then 110% go in the store and get yourself an iPhone 13 or 13 Pro Max because it's really worth it. And once you fill this device and you pick it up, I guarantee you, you won't want to put it down. Thank you.